Boom, shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass on how to live a regret-free life. I have brought David Wood to rock the mic because he has built the world's largest coaching business, serving huge audiences worldwide. He now coaches high-performing leaders to play the best game they possibly can and live a regret-free life. And some things we're going to be talking about today, Fire Nation, is do we actually tell the truth to each other? Why are small secrets big problems? Why playing safe can be the most dangerous thing that we actually do in a four-step plan to a regret free life. Fire Nation, all that and so much more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Ready to build your first sales funnel without having to hire an entire tech team to help? With ClickFunnels, you can. Visit eofire.com slash click to start your free 14-day trial today. That's eofire.com slash click. Growing businesses need qualified candidates, and qualified candidates can be a challenge to find. Lucky for us, Zip Recruiter makes it simple, fast, and smart. And right now, you can try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire. David, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. Well, what's up, Fire Nation? And something a lot of people don't know about me is like they see all the success and they, they see uh, the shiny stuff, but they don't realize that I've, I've really gone to some dark, struggling places. I've had anxiety. I've had some deep, dark depression in my life. So don't, don't just be fooled by all the shiny, good stuff and the success. Know that there's a complete picture, as I suspect there is to, to all of us. Yeah, and this is actually an example I bring up kind of often when this topic comes up. And, you know, that's the Robin Williams fallacy. I mean, it's just like here you have this guy that's accomplished everything, all the money, all the fame, all the fortune, yet he commits suicide. Like Fire Nation, you never know what's underneath. You never know what that person's life actually is. So don't go through that compare and despair fallacy because it's just not reality. As I mentioned in the intro, Fire Nation, we're going to be talking about how to live a regret-free life. And David, I just want to start right off by asking you this question. Do we actually tell the truth to each other? Not when it really matters, I think. And I love the way we started this, this conversation because I think that we tend to want to present the shiny stuff to people. We want people to like us and we want to present the shiny stuff. And there are things about each of us that we don't really want to let out to the light. And I think that's sad because it leads to disconnection and it leads to us judging ourselves and then we don't tell the full truth. And that's not wrong. It just doesn't lead to the deep connection that I think we really want. So I'm an advocate. I'm an evangelist for firstly identifying the things about ourselves that we're not fully embracing or accepting or loving and then step by step sharing more of that with the world so that it can the light it can come to the light of day and we can actually be seen for for everything that we are and i'm i'm talking about powerful ceos uh and rock stars and everybody i'm not just talking about um people who feel some kind of struggle i'm talking about everybody let's tell more of the truth because at the end of the tunnel there's that deep connection that I say we're all really craving. Now, what's a tactic or a strategy that you can maybe share with Fire Nation where we can maybe dip our toe into this process? We can maybe take the first step in being more truthful with each other. Thank you. I'm a practical guy, so I love that yes. question. Start to notice you're in a dialogue. There's the, the mind is always going. And if you can notice something that's going on for you, that you haven't shared with the person you're in conversation with. So it could be in a boardroom. It could be, hey, I noticed the energy just just dipped, it seems to me. Does anyone, anyone else feel that? You start to, to name what's happening. Or, hey, I notice I'm not really on fire today. I just yeah, I want to let you guys know that I, I didn't sleep that well. I'm here. I'm ready to go. But if you notice there's a, there's a drop in the energy, that's what's going on. Start to notice 
what's happening that's not being named and just name it so that you can be more in relationship with uh, whoever you're communicating with. Now, I love that specific example you gave about how I'm just not feeling on fire today because obviously, A, it's super on brand for entrepreneurs on fire, but B, it's like an actual personal experience that I've had where, listen, today is my Super Bowl, David. You are one of nine interviews I'm doing for entrepreneurs on fire today. I am doing all of the month's interviews today. And why do I do that? Because I know that I can wake up this morning, get myself in state, and be on fire all day today. But I couldn't wake up nine consecutive days in a row and ensure that was going to happen because I'm going to have a down day or a day I don't feel like super excited or on fire or whatever, however you want to say it. But I know I can do that for one day. So I have a lot of people that are like, John, like you always have so much energy. You're always like so excited. And I love just being honest with them and truthful and saying, that's not the case. Like you're seeing a glimpse of my life. You're seeing 45 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour of my day. And like, of course I can be on fire for that. But believe me, after that, I go out and I lay on my hammock and I zone out or I read or I go for a walk, right? I'm by myself. And that honesty, Fire Nation, it will free you. Being true will free you. Now, one thing that you say, David, that I do love is that small secrets are big problems. What do you mean by that? Yeah, well, let's talk about the cost of not being truthful. Let's suppose you don't uh, just name that you're not having an on day and the other person feels it and they walk away from that interaction going, eh, that, you know, I didn't really enjoy that. And maybe they then tell someone else, yeah, Ooh. that that guy's just not really switched on. You, you shouldn't do, create an alliance with him. I can him. snowball. Yeah. It can snowball. So like I just had um, someone change a meeting on me. We've got this nonprofit that's um, training people in uh, inmates in prison to be authentic and to tell the truth more. And she just changed, changed the meeting. And I was frustrated because we'd already had all this back and forth c- creating the meeting. Now, if I didn't name that, I could like how often would we just gloss over that frustration and go, ah, oh, damn it, changing it around. This is pissing me off. So often. What I decided to do was name it because maybe next week she'll change a meeting again, thinking it's no big deal. But he, but here's me frustrated mm. by it. So I created a little video and I said to her, uh, look, I want you. You know, you've got a good reason for changing it. I understand. I just want you to know there's a cost for me to doing it. I want you to know the impact. Um, so now I got to be self-expressed with her. I feel more related with her. Perhaps she can feel more related with me. If she's got some, she doesn't want to hear, hear that, or she's got frustration with something going on in her life, she can now share it with me and we can be more connected and more related. If you don't do it, those small secrets, those small things, those small frustrations, uh, can grow and grow and grow. And I just think at the end of the day, if we're not, we're missing out on the connection and we're missing out on results. I, I'm not just the touchy feely guy, right? I am that. I am the touch, you know, like let's get in touch with our emotions, but there's a reason for it. I want you to feel more connected and I want you to have better results. I want you all to be greater leaders and That happens when you are more connected, more related. Fire Nation, what's holding you back from living your truth? Answer, you are holding yourself back from living your truth. You have the power to be honest, to not have secrets to big problems. So stop holding yourself back from living your truth. I'll be honest, people tell me all the time, they're like, John you're kind of blunt. Like you kind of just say it like it is. And I love when people say that because I'm like, damn right I say it like it is because I'm going to be honest with you. And if that, for whatever reason, repels you or pushes you away or whatever that might be, guess what? We probably shouldn't be hanging out with each other then because I'm being honest. Yes. And I don't need to hang out with every single person in this world and I can't. So let me attract the people who I should be attracting and let me repel the people I should be repelling. And for business, this works yes. so true, David. Like I love this phrase love me or hate me because there's no money in the middle. And the true, true, true to that, like that is a true statement, wow. but let's even maybe take it to another level. Like love me or hate me because there's no truth in the middle. Like there's truth in the loving or the hating part of it. But like, that's what we need to be, Fire Nation, is being ourselves. And now I wanna talk 
about daring. And this is something that you are really powerful of when it comes to sharing how playing safe can actually be the most dangerous thing that we can do as human beings. Expound upon that. My background is in risk management. I used to be a consulting actuary to Fortune 100 companies in New York. And so I think in terms of risk, and I think we're all trying to manage risk in our life. And we think, oh, look, maybe I won't share on this podcast that I've had depression and anxiety because then people go, oh, that guy doesn't have his together and I'm mm. not going to work, work with him, right? That's the risk. Or maybe I'm a single guy, so maybe I won't ask that woman out because I'll feel rejection. Or maybe I won't go and do that speech because it, it's, uh, it, it might not go well and, and I'm gonna, people are going to think I'm terrible on stage. Whatever it is, we're trying to manage those risks, and that's valid. That's fine. But I think so many people are not looking at the other side of that risk. What about the risk that you don't do it and that you die regretting it? What about if you don't go for that new venture or you don't quit your job and go and get the job doing something you love or if you don't go to the Bahamas and scuba dive because you've wanted to for 20 years? What if you actually die a week from now or six weeks from now or 60 years from now without having done that? How about that risk? That's why I think playing safe is one of the most dangerous things you can do because you're risking dying with regret. And I don't want that for anybody. Fire Nation, if that doesn't really resonate with you, if that doesn't shake you to your core, like check your pulse because that's the reality. That is the reality of the world that we live in. I mean, here today, gone tomorrow. Like what are you doing that's true to yourself? Are you living the life to the fullest that you want to live it? And again, everybody's going to have a different interpretation of that, a different meaning of that. What is your interpretation of that? And if you think David's done dropping value bombs, you couldn't be more wrong, Fire Nation, because after we get back from the break, we're going to talk about the four-step plan to a regret-free life as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsors. Ever felt like your hiring process is inefficient and like you're struggling to grow your company to its potential? If so, you're not alone. Take this case study from Fred, founder and CEO of Finder. Finder helps people make more informed financial decisions by providing comparisons of personal finance products like credit cards and insurance. Fred wanted to staff up quickly after launching in the US, but finding qualified matches from other sites was challenging and his recruiting process was disorganized. ZipRecruiter's platform centralizes hiring and their AI-driven matching technology helped Fred find more quality candidates fast. He was able to scale his staff from zero to 12 in a matter of months, filling roles with varying levels of skills and experience. Fred says, if you are a growth company and you want a diversity of quality people to hire, ZipRecruiter is the best solution out there. In the US, we staffed Finder on ZipRecruiter. If you want to find hiring success like Fred did, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter com slash fire. Once again, ziprecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. I don't consider myself a techie person, but when it comes to idea generation, I'm on fire. So when asked, are you ready to build your first sales funnel? I immediately thought I'd have to hire a tech team to help. Then I found ClickFunnels, and with ClickFunnels, the sky is the limit. ClickFunnels is a software tool that helps you create sales funnels that convert your visitors into leads and then customers. ClickFunnels was created so entrepreneurs like me and you who aren't programmers and who don't know how to code can easily build great looking pages inside of a sales funnel to grow our business online. And the great thing about ClickFunnels is that it's not just your funnel building editor, it's also your shopping cart, your email autoresponder, your membership software, your affiliate management software, and so much more. Join over 90,000 entrepreneurs who are actively using ClickFunnels to easily get their products and their message out to the world. Visit eofire.com slash click to start your free 14 day trial today. That's eofire.com slash click. So David, we're back and I want to first start off by talking about how important connections are. How important are connections in living a regret-free life? I love that you asked that about connection. See, my life used to be about 
being transactional, getting stuff done. I became an actuary. I became super successful at that. And I like results. Like, let's be, let's have success. But what I was missing was the relational piece. I didn't learn as an Australian guy growing up um, how to really connect with humans. I was able to get stuff done with them, but my heart wasn't open. I, I didn't know how to cry. I actually had some trauma in my life. When I was seven years old, I watched my little sister die in a traffic accident. And, you know, I'm, hopefully not everybody's had something like that in their life, but I think all of us have had something which – uh, limited our, our growth and our connection at some point in our life. And then I discovered, oh, wait a minute, there's a whole other world out here of actually being vulnerable with people, of sharing my heart, of, of being passionate and caring about other people. And I've decided, particularly in the last couple of years, that yes, we want results. Yes, we want success. But I know that each one of us wants deep connection. How do I know that? Just look at the movies that inspire us. Look at the most popular movies. They're all about deep connection. And at the end of the day, when you are lying on your deathbed, sure, you're gonna, you, you might think, boy, I wish I was more successful. But I think what you're really going to be facing is, did I really connect with the people in my life? Did I share how much I love them and how much I care about them? And did I make a difference for other people? So let's not lose sight of the fact that while we're being super successful in our businesses, let's also make time to ensure that we're cultivating deeper connection. And the beauty of this whole thing is not only are you going to feel more satisfied and gratified in your life, but your business is going to do better. So you cannot lose by putting attention on connection. So David, you have a model that you call the play for real model. Where does that fit in? And where does caring fit in for a regret-free life? I'd call them uh, two separate questions. The first one, this model, uh, it's not sexy, right? And it's not complicated and it's not rocket science, science. It's just something simple that can change your life. So it's a four-step model, real goals, real plan, real action, and then real growth. Now, do you actually have written down goals, let's say for a 12-month time frame, that would put a huge smile on your face when you've achieved them? That's real goals. A lot of people just simply don't have that. If you have the real goals, have you actually created a plan of what needs to happen between now and that time frame for you to achieve that? And this is so rare that people do this. Have you chunked it down into what has to happen each month and what has to happen each week for you to get there? It's not rocket science. It's just how things manifest in time and space. The third thing is real action. Even if people have the goals and they have the plan, when they sit down each day to start work, are you working on the two most important things that have to get done that day and are you focused or are you distracted by Facebook, text messages, email, people walking into your office? Are you actually leading yourself or are you being led by your circumstances? That is so rare for humans to have focused attention on getting stuff done. And then the fourth one is real growth. It's great to be producing the results and the success. But if you're not growing, if you're not practicing what, what we're, we've talked about with truth, daring, and we're about to talk about caring, then um, I, think you, I think you're missing out. You might have the, the, some short-term results, but you're not going to have that connection that we talked about. So that's the four-step plan of real goals, real plan, real action, and real growth. And let's go through this real quick before we move on to the next part. In Fire Nation, Think about these four steps, real goals. Do you have a goal that in 12 months, if you accomplish that goal, if you actually can say, yes, I did this, that's going to put a big fat smile on your face. If the answer is yes, then awesome. Pat yourself on the back. If the answer is no, well, what's, what's holding you back? What are you waiting for? Set this goal, Fire Nation, is going to put a big fat smile on your face. And then step two, which is the real plan, 
It's not rocket science. It's how things manifest in time and space, Fire Nation, having an actual plan of action and then executing. And that leads into the real action parts. Are you working on the two most important things every day that's moving you towards that actual goal? Um, are you leading yourself or are you being led by circumstances? And so many people, Fire Nation, wake up in the morning, turn on their phone, go into reactive mode, and they're led by circumstances for the entire day. Then they go to bed being like, oh, I was so busy today. Yeah, you were. You were very busy, I'm sure. And I'm sure you were quote unquote productive, but guess what? You're producing the wrong stuff. And then the last part is real growth. Are you having real growth? Are you investing in real growth? And by the way, anybody listening to this podcast right now, you're investing your time in real growth. So congratulations. Now let's move right. into caring, David. Talk about that. I don't think caring is a sexy topic and I resisted it for a long time because I like I go I went and paraglided the Himalayas solo. Whoa. And and I and I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of abandonment. So I explored open relationship and, and being in uh, you know polyamorous relationships. I tend to be like the spiritual warrior and I thought I can do anything and I have no limitations. And then I found out that that's not true. I discovered a bit of humility. I, I discovered that if I don't take care of my body, if I go and do things that are too far beyond my limits, then my body will whack me. Like I can, that's when I went into deep depression and anxiety. My body just said, no, that's not good for you. You cannot date someone who's dating someone else. It just doesn't work for your makeup, David. And I said, no, that's not true. I'm the spiritual warrior. So if you're, let's say you're a CEO or you, you're running your own business and you decide that you don't have to take care of exercise, you don't have to take care of your nutrition. I'm saying at some point your body will whack you. And so it's counterproductive. If you're not taking care of your relationship, say you're married or you've got a partner and you're not nurturing that relationship, you're not putting some attention on your partner, then at some point that relationship may disintegrate and it's going to cost you. Same in your business. What about the relationships with your customers? Are you nurturing those? Are you putting attention on your staff and having them feel great? How about your vendor relationships? How about your boss? If you, it's, it doesn't seem very sexy, but if you don't do the caring, then the systems in your life, including your relationships, can break down and it will be way more expensive than if you just put some attention on making sure they're taken care of. And that includes you. Fire Nation, David has just walked you through an entire masterclass on how to live a regret-free life. I hope he's kind of shaking to the core a little bit on some things that you're just letting slide in your life that need to stop and end now. And David, before we go, just take a minute. Share what you really want to make sure Fire Nation gets overall from our chat today. And then, of course, I know you have a really, really generous and special gift for our listeners. So we'll get to that part next. Thank you. I think we're all animals. And um, it's easy to get into patterns and habits. And what I really want for you, for me, for everybody else, is that we have some time and attention on checking if that's the pattern that we really want. So listen to podcasts like this. Thank you. Uh, get yourself a coach. Go and do a program that puts you on your edge and gets you, gets you out of your comfort zone just so that you're continually checking, am I fully living life so that on my deathbed, I can say, I gave it everything. That's what I want for you. And here's my offer. Um, if something in this call resonated with you and you feel like um, a coaching session with me could have a big impact on your life, then I invite you to request a session. I don't charge for these discovery sessions, one, because I love doing them, and two, because it's how I find the right clients to work with long term. So if you're interested in taking advantage of that, I can't say yes to everybody, but I can say yes to a lot of people. Go to playforreal.life, that's L-I-F-E, playforreal.life, click on request a session, and there's a great discovery process called the life assessment, it takes about five to 10 minutes that you'll get a lot of value from even before you book a session on my calendar. So that's the offer today. Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with and you've been hanging out with DW and JLD today, so keep up the heat. 
in Fire Nation. This is such a generous offer from David. I mean, a free discovery session. He's going to give you his time to have a a no strings attached conversation where he's going to help you. He's going to listen to you. He's going to hear you. And yeah, it might make sense for some of you down the line to work with him on a more intimate level. That's just going to be the case. And that's going to be a great opportunity for some people. But this is a free discovery session with David. He can't serve everybody. So take action when you're hearing my voice because the people that come to him first are going to have a much higher likelihood of getting that yes. And you can visit playforreal.life and then click on request a session. That's the correct URL, right, David? Yep, that's right. Playforreal.life, Fire Nation. Take action. Start that today. And David, I just want to say thank you, brother, for sharing your truth, your fire with Fire Nation. And for that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, man. I really enjoyed it. And I love uh, you and how you speak. It's like it's like um, a man after my, my own heart. Glad to I know. love it. Take care, brother. Hey, Fire Nation, today's value bomb content was brought to you by David and successful entrepreneurs, they accomplish a big goals. That's why I created the Freedom Journal to guide you in accomplishing your number one goal in 100 days. And we're talking step by step. So visit thefreedomjournal.com. Use promo code podcast for a nice little discount. And we're talking $15 discount as a thank you for listening to my podcast. So I will catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flip side. Ready to build your first sales funnel without having to hire an entire tech team to help? With ClickFunnels, you can. Visit eofire.com slash click to start your free 14-day trial today. That's eofire.com slash click. Looking for a place you can go where hiring is simple, fast, and smart? That place is ZipRecruiter. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire.